Home is where the heart is. A division of real estate, licensee, advisory, buyer, love letters. In this hot real estate market, it has become common for buyers to write love letters to sellers. letters are used by buyers to persuade sellers to accept their offer based on an emotional appeal. So what's the issue? Love letter usage can violate both licensing and fair housing laws that are designed to prevent discrimination of protected classes. A love letter can reveal information to the seller, which then identifies the buyer as a member of a protected class. A buyer love letter also presents potential legal exposure for both the broker and the seller. What should a listing broker or transaction broker do if their seller is receiving love letters? A listing broker should get written permission from their client to not present love letters. Discuss the danger of violating any fair housing laws with your client. Note on the MLS that love letters will not be accepted and will not be read. If the seller insists on accepting love letters, advise them to seek legal advice. Document any conversations with a follow-up email to your client and keep a note in the file. Avoid liability risks for the broker and your clients by focusing on a solid offer instead of an emotional appeal. Talk to your legal counsel or employing broker if you have additional questions regarding love letters. Thank you for watching a licensee advisory from the Division of Real Estate.